Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hey, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Juan Antonio. Nice to see you. Eugenio, Vicente. Me too. Luis. Good you, Good evening. Good evening. Brenda. Hello there. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to be here. I'm very happy about Jennifer uh, Noé. So hello, hello, to, hello to everybody. I'm very happy to be here. I was exciting. I have been exciting all day long. How my students are going to be, how they will work and they will give their best because they want to learn a lot. So, and I am enthusiastic too. Well, uh, la primera parte la vamos a hacer un poquito en español. Solo voy a presentar algunos datos de mi persona. Okay. Y luego pues continuamos con el tema, lo que es la evaluación, lo que son los, los requerimientos que debe de cumplir para obtener su diploma y sobre todo, tan, no tanto el diploma, pero aprender más el idioma inglés a la producción activa del mismo. Tenemos la suerte que hablamos uno de los idiomas más hablados a nivel mundial, que es el español. Y... Estamos en el camino por un segundo idioma que es el inglés. Open doors. Ok. Around the world. That will be. Ok. So let me uh, present over here a little bit who I am or who am I. And that. Ok. Here no. Eh. Bien, la, ahí, ahí me ven en la imagen, esa, flot, esa foto es de la foto flor, sin hacer propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> sin no hacer, problem, I know that place. <laughs> sin hacer propaganda. Es que muchos creo que ponemos la misma. ¿eh? Ok, eh, bueno, mi nombre es José Fidencio López. Eh, pues soy especialista en el área de inglés, eh, todo el mundo me conoce como Mr. López, eh, eh, pues ya llevo varios años en, la, en, la, en el camino de, de un segundo idioma. Entonces, pues eh, mi formación académica, además de ser graduado de, la, graduado de la universidad con especialidad en inglés, pues también tengo diplomados internacionales, eh, 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 por la Universidad de Tepeyac, por la Escuela Nacional de eh, Particulares de la Ciudad de México, entre otros muchos, y pues con participación en conferencias internacionales en la Ciudad de México durante muchos años, tanto participando con temas eh, pedagógicos como eh, oyente o participante de la misma. Eh, cuento con pues, más de 20 años en la experiencia de, en la enseñanza de un segundo idioma y pues se me nota, ¿no? Eh, y pues eso. <laughs> of eso, course. Yeah, no problem. Of course. No problem. <laughs> my white hair. That's my white hair. Ok, y pues eh, eh, es lógico, eh, mi idioma nativo pues es... es um, Español, eh, español, pues soy originario de Chalatenango, pero vivo aquí en San Salvador desde hace muchos años. Eh, he trabajado con estudiantes, tanto principiantes como intermedio, como a nivel avanzado, a un C1 o C2. También, entre otras cosas, pues he tenido la oportunidad de preparar un, un par de veces a jóvenes para la pre el preparación TOEFL. Entonces, eh, pues que gracias a Dios obtuvimos buenos resultados. Y por uh, también decir, cuento con la experiencia de ser coordinador de un departamento por muchos años, teniendo bajo mi cargo a, a muchos docentes, ¿ok? Pero ahorita aquí es. Este es mi punto y esto es lo que me gusta hacer. Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta sobre la diapositiva anterior? No uh, where do you live? I live here in San Salvador. Uh, in San Salvador, but I, I was born in Chalatenango, in a little cantoncito over there. 
Call, uh, by where, nue where exactly? By, little cartoncito. By Nueva Concepción. Uh, oh, yeah, I know that place. Lempa River Shorts. <laughs> so, yeah. I know that place. Yeah, so it's it's kind of hot the weather over there. Okay, uh, tareas y evaluaciones. Es importante, jóvenes, eh, que cumplamos con el 80% más, o sea, una nota mínima de promedio de las tareas y evaluaciones. Pero como no somos conformistas, yo sé que estoy más que seguro que ustedes van a ir por el 90, por el 100, ¿ok? Y que no se trata tanto de la nota. Estoy going. Sí, se trata, sí, sí es cierto, pero pues se trata también de incrementar nuestro nivel de inglés. Espero poderles ayudar, sí. tengo el entusiasmo y de aprender nuevas cosas en este curso. Eh, las tareas. Ya. Yeah. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma. Eh, entiendo que eh, las tareas puede hacerlas más de una vez, si el resultado no le favorece, si no me estoy equivocando y si me equivoco, perdonen. Eh, eh, están en la plataforma eh, ahí tienen he visto videos tutoriales que si usted los desea ver no hay ningún problema véalos antes de hacer la tarea ok y una cosa bien importante que he visto que les da malos resultados a veces que recuerden que la escritura debe ser como o inicio de una oración la primera, la, la primera letra es mayúscula tenemos un punto la letra que sigue es mayúscula. Si rellenamos y, y tiene que poner, eh, por ejemplo, eh, yo le pongo en el ejercicio, an, eh, 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 what? Eh, Picasso, uh, no, I'm going to study tonight. Eh, y tiene que ponerle going to, eh, le queda el espacio, el going tiene que ser minúscula, ¿ok? Porque ya iniciamos la primera letra y después de un punto. Entonces, puede adelantar contenido. No hay ningún problema según nos dicen acá. Si usted se siente capaz, se siente... Eh, no hay ningún problema, ¿ok? Eh, las tareas de la ya cubiertas tienen que estar completas de las sesiones que vamos a terminar que vamos haciendo por semana, ya para el día viernes ya deben de estar completas. Eh, ¿Por qué? Porque el personal encargado de apoyo, pues actualiza la plataforma con sus resultados, porque ya que estos se tienen que enviar a Insafor semanalmente. Y acuérdese que esto es un, ¿cómo se llama? Be como, como tipo beca, ¿no? Usted no... no entonces, por eso es cada, cada viernes, antes de finalizar la, la medianoche, ya tiene que ser, estar registrado. ¿okay? Bueno, ellos tienen que registrarlo. Usted la puede hacer más temprano. El, el material de apoyo está, es, está en la plataforma, que entiendo que ya le dieron los usuarios, ya le dieron en, entrada y son. De hecho, yo la... La manual lo obtuve de la plataforma, ¿ok? Y dice a criterio... Yeah, yeah good, excellent. A criterio de, del docente, eh, a criterio del docente en formato digital, ¿ok? Aquí les eh, puede ser, eh, eh, será compartido o a criterio del docente en formato digital. Usted lo, si usted se siente cómodo, pero tiene que tenerlo a la mano, ya sea en formato digital. Si usted lo quiere imprimir, pues eh, también, ¿verdad? Para poderlo trabajar y rellenar desde ahí. Eh, entonces, pero igual yo le voy a enviar algunas... Uh, bueno, ya lo vamos a ver, no me voy a adelantar. En la primera semana vamos a cubrir sección 1 y sección 2. Entonces, en estas secciones vamos a trabajar un poquito rápido. Eh, y en la segunda semana eh, se va a cubrir sección 3. Y ahí, después, al terminar la sección 3, que sería de este jueves 2 de noviembre al siguiente jueves, Ahí, pues, eh, al terminar nuestra clase, usted tiene que hacer un midterm, o sea, un, como una, una evaluación. Y 
Después, en la tercera semana, tenemos la sección 4. Y, ups, sorry. Tenemos la sección... Eh, ¿Qué pasó? Ok, y la, en, la, en la cuarta semana tendremos la sección 5 y la prueba final de todo el curso para que usted pueda obtener su diploma. Eh, eh, políticas de asistencia. Asista, el 80, tiene que tener el 80%, más del 80% de las asistencias a clase. Personalmente, el, por el, el, lo corto del curso, eh, les sugiero que asistamos al 100% de las clases. No perder para poder, este, para poder pues, eh, tener claro e incrementar nuestro uso del idioma. El avance y desarrollo de la plataforma de aprendizaje. Ya lo dijimos anteriormente que debe de estar finalizado las sesiones que vayamos terminando eh, a más tardar el día viernes, porque el día viernes antes de medianoche el personal tiene que enviar eh, su, eh, los resultados a Insafor. Entonces es importante que eh, hagamos, eh, estemos pendientes de ello. Eh, Horario establecido, lo tenemos de 8 a, a 9 de la noche, eh, pues estaremos puntual, yo termino, voy a, a tratar, hoy entré a las 8 en punto, creo, eh, según mi computadora. Entonces, tener cámara encendida, eso sí les voy a pedir, que me ayuden a tener cámaras encendidas. Es cierto que estamos en línea, pero recuerden que la integración es viéndonos las caritas, ¿ok? Eh, y que pues pa, para tener una conversación más interactiva, eh, más, por qué no decirlo, más amigable, porque ya que nos estamos viendo. Por favor, me ayudan los que tienen cámaras en, apagadas, ¿ok? Eh, casi todos me las han apagado, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, por favor, agradezco a los que las a, a están encendiendo y la tienen encendida. Eh, ¿Por qué? Miren, así se debería de ver. Ok, yo como estoy haciendo la presentación, solo me parece una columna, pero yo siempre paso, subo, bajo, para ver cómo estamos, para conocerles. Ok, eh, duración de la clase. 60 minutos, ¿ok? O 60 minutos o un poquito más para, eh, porque ya ven que estamos grabando. Entonces, la grabación, el objetivo eh, es que para usted, para cuando vaya a hacer un, puede repasar, puede ver el video, tiene la, 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 el video tutorial en, en plataforma. Así que para que no se pierda. Y yo le voy a mandar eh, editada mi presentación con aquellas cosas que, eh, que, eh, que usted debe tener para, no para solo salir bien en sus evaluaciones, sino para ayudarle a incrementar eh, su vocabulario, cómo se dice, etcétera, etcétera. Ok. Eh, eh, trabajar los ejercicios en plataforma, ya lo dijimos. Y obtener su diploma. ¿Ok? Eh, pregunta de la, de, la, de, la sesión, de la presentación esta. No question. Ok, no question. Thank you. Um, normas de convivencia. ¿Ok? Es importante tener apagado el botón de silencio de su micrófono y abrirlo cada vez que vaya a participar, ¿ok? Y eh, les recomendamos, les recomiendo usar los headphones estos con micrófono porque eso nos ayuda, yo sé que estamos desde casa y todos tenemos animalitos, perritos, periquitos y todo, entonces a minimizar los, los sonidos externos para que pues nuestra clase se dé de manera adecuada y en un ambiente adecuado, válgase la redundancia. Lista de asistencia, yo les voy a, a mencionar eh, eh, antes de irnos, antes de irnos, eh, su nombre completo y usted me dice present mister, I'm here mister, ok, o oh, teacher como quiero, pero everybody calls me mister, ok. Uh, 
nombre completo en su, en su cámara, veo muchos sí, algo otro, eh, algo otros eh, nombre y apellido, pero según los requerimientos de tenemos que tener nombres completos, porque cuando yo les pase asistencia, igual con nombre completo. Ok. Eh, eh, cámara encendida, por favor, me ayudan con eso. Es importante. Ok. Y participación activa. La participación activa se da de manera verbal y de manera escrita. Vamos a enfocar en lo que es la producción del idioma. ¿Cuál es la producción del idioma? A través de la escritura y de la participación verbal. Ah, Mr. López, pero ¿dónde queda la auditiva y la lectura? Esas son in, pero luego usted saca. Ok, cuando escucha un audio, está, es in. Pero luego usted me dice, ah, Mr. López, the audio, the conversation is about this and that, and then you're producing. Ok. Así es que, por favor, es bien importante su participación activa. Eh, tanto aquí en el grupo principal como en los breakout rooms que los voy a enviar, no este día, pero por lo menos un par de minutos cada día, eh, los voy a enviar a breakout rooms, o sea, a grupitos de tres, de cuatro, en parejas, ¿ok? Y... Uso, okay. del, uso del chat, ya lo dije, es sumamente importante. Si yo digo, please, everybody, say this uh, or about this one. Y usted escribe en el chat, no estamos evaluando si la respuesta va a ser correcta o mal. Lo que eh, vamos a estar evaluando, entre comillas, que no lo vamos a estar haciendo, es que usted está participando, está produciendo el idioma, ¿ok? Y yo no, eh, eh, si es necesario, corrijo, uh, si hay algo que usted no, eh, cor, eh, si hay algo que se pronunció mal o se dijo mal, lo hago en contexto general. Ah, Mr. López, yo dije esa cosa y Mr. López dice de esta manera. O el audio en la conversación lo dice así, entonces así es. Yo les voy a enviar algunos audios para que ustedes puedan practicar, sobre todo la pronunciación, la conversación, para que usted eh, escuche, la, eh, escuche la conversación y la lea. Después eh, puede eh, irle pausando línea por línea y usted va repitiendo la conversación. Eh, levantar la mano. Yo estoy muy pendiente de quienes levantan la mano. Levantar la mano para la participación, ¿ok? Eh, yo voy a tratar de, a, a, de decirle, Juliana, eh, léame el, el objetivo, a, lea la oración o Julano, pero sí, le, cada vez que usted desee participar, levante la mano y hágalo, por favor, ¿ok? Yo inmediatamente le doy la palabra. Siempre mantener el respeto. Ok, ah, esto es sumamente importante. Eh, tener a la mano un, un cuaderno o libreta para notas. Si su dispositivo, ah, su, ah, ¿cómo se llama? Su computadora, ah, a alejarla un poquito de su persona y dejar el espacio para que usted pueda acomodar su cuaderno, su libreta de apuntes y vaya tomando notas. Los cuadernos o libretas para notas son una herramienta muy importante para el aprendizaje de un segundo idioma. Y eso no lo dice Mr. López, lo dicen los expertos, con quien pues he tenido la buena suerte de de conocer y relacionarme. El manual eh, lo puede tener digital o impreso, pero debe estar a la mano, ¿ok? Usted va a ver lo que tiene el manual en, en mis presentaciones, como las conversaciones, la producción, pero sí es importante que tenerlo a mano, ¿ok? Eh, eh, a hacer un espacio, poner su teléfono, computadora, un poquito que le quede en una mesa para que usted pueda llevar a nota. Eh, con llevar notas estamos produciendo el idioma porque estoy escribiendo, ¿ok? Estoy escribiendo. 
Entonces, es una manera de producir el idioma. ¿Preguntas? Eh, sí, Vicente Israel. Ok, teacher. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Vicente. Ok, thank you very much. And, and you know, um, uh, maybe um, the majority of uh, classmates has uh, or have a job. And sometimes we work at night. But uh, we're going to let you know uh, when we are working at night or, or, or on duty because uh, maybe we can't participate 100%. And uh, um, we're going to be as a listener only. Yes, that's, that's right, Vicente. So in the previous, and, and the pre and the previous, um, and the previous uh, course that I gave, uh, there were some people that sometimes they work, but they they are connected. They are, uh, they are right. listeners. They are Listener, uh, right. see in order not to miss class. Okay, so thank you, Vicente. Thank you very much for uh, okay. that one. It's really important. So even thank some you. some other people have said, Mr. Lopez, I'm driving, I'm driving, uh, so I cannot talk, and but I I see then that they are connected and they are listening over there. Of course, the when, uh, of course, uh, with the uh, necessary, uh, necessary, uh, how do you say, careful, careful. Uh, so, okay. So we are driving. Yeah, so if you do, <laughs> so it's up to you. Let me just uh, uh, close this one. Okay. Okay, so let's start our class. Any questions? Anything? No more. No more. Okay, so on the exam, I will ask, where is Mr. Lopez? What does he do? No, it's not true. It's just, it's just <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. So here we go with our um, class. Okay. Oh, one very important thing, like you say, it's important for me that you talk to me. Everybody must talk to me, okay? And I need to see how you're doing. Okay, uh, the first section is, is really worth seeing. Uh, let's see, uh, Eugenio Martinez, help me with the topics. What are the topics of this unit? Eugenio, open. Uh -huh. uh, good evening. Good evening. Lopez. Good evening. Nice uh, to meet you. Uh, the topic is landmark and monument aspect of countries, war knowledge. Uh-huh, word knowledge. Okay, thank you very much. So we're going to talk about important landmarks around the world, but it doesn't mean that we cannot talk about landmarks in El Salvador, okay? For example, what is a landmark? Give me an example. Do you know any little famous landmarks around the world? Uh-huh, Any anybody? Give me an example. Yes, Vicente? Yes, for, for example, we have um, uh, Liberty Stadium. Statue. Uh -uh, the Statue of Liberty. Yes, the Statue, the Statue of Liberty. Of Liberty. It, that is very famous in, is, in the United States. In the United States. In what city? New York City. In New York City. In fact, we're going to talk about at the Statue of Liberty of New York City. Uh, do we have landmarks here in El Salvador? Someone else? Uh, for example. Brenda? Brenda Claribel? For example, when I talked about um, Salvador del Mundo. A Salvador del Mundo is a famous landmark. Good. And the uh, Laguna Pulo. 
Yes, okay. Okay, so Salvador del Mundo is a famous landmark around the world. Everybody knows that. Okay, good. And yes, we do have landmarks over there. Okay, it's English Intermedio, Modulo uh, 3. Am I right? Right. Yes, okay. This is session one. So Monday, October 30th, 2023. Okay. It's okay if you say uh, 2023. It's okay, but it's not very common. So um, academically, you say Monday, October 30th, 2023. Okay, it's really worth seeing. But let's see, let's talk about famous landmark. Uh, okay, Claudia Maria, help me with the old learning objective. Learning objective. Talk about mm -hmm. famous landmark around the world. Around the world. There are famous, uh, Vicente already mentioned one, which is very famous. There are tons of pictures, uh, postcards, and uh, uh, pamphlets uh, everywhere. Okay, uh, Juan Antonio Brand, help me with the first one, read it. The Great uh, The Great Gulf of China was begun in uh two forty uh two uh, two hundred fourteen two hundred fourteen yeah okay two hundred fourteen okay BC mm -hmm. it is at uh, the largest largest uh, structure ever built Be built ever okay. built ever built. built so the great wall of china was begun in 2014 dc uh, bc sorry it is the largest structure uh, jennifer uh, jennifer help me arevalo okay no set teacher uh, unknown set okay yes. <laughs> i was afraid not uh, to mispronounce it. <laughs> no uh, okay. The Colosseum in Rome was opened in eight, 80? 80? 80. 80. 80. Mm -hmm. 80. It was sometimes piled with water for ship bearers. Okay, good. I think the AD, if I'm not mistaken, is after Jesus and the other is uh, before. Okay, uh, Vicente, yes. Teacher, I got a question. For mm -hmm. example, in the, in the first picture, what does it mean BC? Uh, uh, before, before Christ, before Christ. And, and, the, other and, and the other one, if I'm not after. mistaken, after. Mm -hmm. After what? After, after after Christ or after something, uh, I'll investigate in order to give you a good answer about. Okay, but the first, much, but the first one is before uh, before Christ, and the other, I think, is after. But I'm not sure to be honest. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. No, you're welcome. It's for Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus Christ, maybe. Uh, let's do a research okay. tomorrow, but in order okay. not to. That's okay, important. Thank you. thank you. Good. No, thanks to you for asking. Catherine Vasquez, the Tal Mahal. Hi, good evening. The Tal Mahal good. in India was built between 1630 and 16, mm -hmm. 1652. It is a tomb for the wife of, of an Indian prince. Good. Excellent. Yeah. Remember that the years are red, are red, 1630th, 1652, 1961, 1972, and so on. Okay, that too. Okay, okay. great. And uh, uh, Maria Jose Najarro, the next one. The Good statue. Evening. Good evening, Miss. The, the Statue of Liberty in New York was opened in 1886. Uh, 60, uh, 85, uh, yeah, 86. Okay, 86. It was a gift 
to Americans from the people of France. It was a gift from the people of France. Good, excellent. And uh, let's see, uh, girls already, uh, uh, let me ask Don Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Okay, teacher, good evening. Good evening, Don Luis. Good to, nice to meet you, glad to meet you. Okay, teacher. Uh, the last picture. Eiffel, yes, Eiffel Tower. the, the Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Tower. Eiffel Tower in Paris was completed in 1898 it was built for the 100s 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 no, it was uh, celebrated by the uh, after the revolution. It passed one hundred years, so and they built it in order to uh, commemorate that one. Okay, so these are some of famous landmarks that we have around the around the world. Okay, uh, the, these ones are the most famous, but there are others as well in different countries. Okay, the uh, Spain have. Uh, a, a couple of very famous landmarks and so on. But let's talk about these questions. Um, these kind of activities, let me tell you that uh, from tomorrow on, not today, I will send you to breakout rooms. What is a uh, breakout rooms in, 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 in couples and pairs? in group of three and group of four, it's, it's so important. And it's so important that when you are in, in the, in, in the uh, principal meeting, like we are here together, everybody's here, so that you have your cameras on and you talk to your uh, classmates, you discuss questions. Not important if you say great things about something or uh, simple things, that's the way participating, okay? So there are some of you that you had your cameras um, uh, uh, up, I mean, off, and please help me with that one. So what do you know about these places? Uh, does anyone write about them, these places? Mm -hmm. uh, Please write, write on the chat. Yes, Don Vicente? For example, uh, Great Wall was built to protect the, the country. Ah, okay. Yeah, it was built to go to the, the, com, uh, the country, not just the country, but there was a dynasty and they dynasty. wanted to protect. Yeah, and they, there to is protect. a long uh -huh, at the Min dynasty, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, good, uh, well, it says, uh, oh, someone said hello, good evening. Catherine said AD stands for ah, Anno Dominique, Latin for in the year of the Lord, while BC stands for before Christ. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Catherine, everybody seeing this one? Do you send no. to everybody or just to me, Catherine? Do we have any WhatsApp group? Uh, no, no, it's it, it's in the on the chat. I think it was for everybody. But okay, okay. Yes, okay. I I see. Yes, uh, I see. It's okay. for everybody. Thank you, Catherine. Okay. Thank you very much. You uh, don't didn't wait until yesterday. So thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Latin for in the year of the Lord. Okay. That's that's a uh, A D. Okay. N B C. We were right. Okay, we were saying that it was before Christ. Good. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Um, what else do you know about these places? Please write on the chat. What else do you know about these places? Write on the chat. It doesn't matter if it's sentences, phrases, or words. Um, Please write it over there. 
Remember that we produce the language by uh, typing and by producing the language as you are doing, guys. The collision, I guess, uh, is the place where uh, happened a lot of competition. Uh, okay, the emperors I use. Uh, okay, yeah, it's a good guess. The emperors use it for uh, competitions. Okay. Uh huh. Nobody's writing on the chat about the question. Remember that you had to do it. Okay. Ah, I, we got one over here. Ah, okay. Uh huh. So, uh, some famous places are currently visited from many tourists. Good. Uh huh. Some migrant travelers have expressed they feel that the Statue of the Liberty welcomes them to a new country. Ah, Moscow and Russia. Uh, Kremlin also. Ah, the Kremlin. Yes. Mm hmm. Uh, when you uh, something that I miss is when you write on the this uh, you answer this type of questions, uh, please send it only to me. It's not because I don't want other people see it. Uh, it's because I I want you everybody type your own ideas, okay? And I will try to read all of the message that you send. For example, the Coliseum is an ancient monument that was used four battles as entertainment for the Roman people. Good. A Statue of Liberty is given welcome to the visitors. Some places are part of the uh, seven wonders of the world. Ah, good English, guys. Ah, you're going to be very demanding with Mr. Lopez. <laughs> and that's good. I take, I take that challenge. <laughs> okay, good. We make our best effort. <laughs> <laughs> no, great. That's fantastic. And I like it. And I uh, I think we're going to have fun learning English. And, and I always say, in my classes aburrida, nadie aprende. Okay. Uh, so yeah, right. uh, so let's, let's have fun learning as good language. Okay. Now, guys, do we have famous landmarks in the country? You already mentioned one. Okay. You already mentioned Salvador del Mundo. Uh, Salvador del Mundo. What about, what about volcanoes? Yeah, it could be volcanoes. Let's see. We don't have that many, but we have, for example, how do you call the, the one that is in Colonia Escalón or uh, Ex-Presidente Hotel? Uh, the Indio, a uh, popular known as El Chulón, but it's not that <laughs> name. <laughs> That's not nay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we know. Yeah, and we have the monument also a la justicia acá, uh, very close where I live. Uh, so we have Antigua, a couple. Antiguo Cuscatlán has one monument. Is uh, um, the, how do you say? Indio. The India. Uh, uh, the Cuscatlan Indian. Atlacat. Uh, Atlacat, yes. Uh, yes. It's, uh, there are some of the couples also here. But some of, many of the times we don't learn too much about their history. Okay, I got another one here. Uh, the it's Eiffel downtown. Tower is a monument dedicated to love travel. Mm, no, with, uh, well, except the cathedral. I think the cathedral, I uh, know the Palacio. In the in front, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, and the Palacio is one of the monuments, uh, it, which is very important. The cat well, cathedrals everywhere are very famous, but the other is they call when they play music. The the theater is famous as well. Oh, okay. Oh, let me something. I did something over here. Oh, I got it. Okay. Uh, what are the most famous landmarks in El Salvador? Uh, we already mentioned, okay? You say, do we have famous landmarks in El Salvador? Yes, we do. 
And then the, to answer the questions, uh, uh, you mentioned the names, which you already did. And congratulations to answer the first question. It was, I got very good participations, very good English, very understandable. The word order, it's really important. So that's why I said that this class is going to be demanding for me and I accept the challenge, okay? And I, I like that. Okay, um, we got a conversation and uh, what do you see Cecilio Antonio on the picture over there? What do you see? Cecilio Antonio Pe Cortez? What do you see, Cecilio? Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Cecilio. I'm glad to meet you. Voy regresando. Me, me acabo de levantar. No, no. Ah, no okay, estoy... okay, okay, okay. No problem. Thank you very much, Laura Concepcion Mena. What do you see on the picture, Laura? Hi, teacher. Hello, Laura. Tell in your own words, what do you see on the picture? Um, the, the monument the, of liberty. Okay, the Statue of Liberty. Okay, what else? Um, <laughs> no, I don't say it. Okay, okay, okay. Don Vicente, you were uh, raising your hand. Yeah, right. Um... Some people are approaching to the Statue of Liberty. And the Statue of Liberty. Okay. R right. And they are maybe talking about it. Okay. They are talking about it. Uh, and, and how are they how are they approaching over there? Uh by the bo boat. Okay. And on a boat. Okay, good. Boat. So uh, they are they are approaching on a boat. Thank you, Don. thank you, Don Vicente. Uh, okay. Uh, Brenda Clarib uh, Claribel, help me with the learning objective, please. Practice. Brenda. Uh, on the mic. Uh, and, uh, I think your mic is off. Your microphone is off. Uh, no, I'll, now it's... Uh -huh. I think it's not working very well, Brenda. So uh, check it out and I'll go back to you. Don't worry. We have plenty of time. Okay, uh, Catherine Vasquez. Could you help with the with the learning objective? Of course. Uh, practice a conversation about landmarks. See the passive voice <coughs> by in context. Oh, the passive voice. I miss a word over there, but the passive with by in context. Okay. There, there we have some questions. I, I would like you to take notes about the possible answer. Listen to the conversation and answer, okay? Do not copy the questions. Only write, uh, write, uh, take notes about the possible answer, okay? And, and then you tell me, and then I will play the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there are five. So question number one, where are they? Yeah, you, some of you already answer. What are they looking at? Who designed it? Can they go inside it? When I say inside the Statue of Liberty, how many steps are there? Or how many stairs are there? Let's listen. Just take notes. Do not copy the questions, okay? Okay. Part A, listen and practice. We are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Wow, look at it. Incredible, isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartholdi. It's really huge. Do we get to go inside? Of course. 
We can climb the stairs all the way up to the crown. Stairs? There's no elevator? Not to the top, but it's just 142 steps. Okay, one more time. Re I repeat, do not write the questions. Only take notes, uh, write number one and the possible answer, okay? Or the answers. Part A, listen and practice. We are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty, which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Wow, look at it. Incredible, isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartholdi. It's really huge. Do we get to go inside? Of course. We can climb the stairs all the way up to the crown. Stairs? There's no elevator? Not to the top, but it's just 142 steps. Okay. Uh, volunteers, raise your hand. Who would like to answer number one? Raise your hands, please. I need five volunteers. Okay, Don Vicente, number one. What, what is the possible answer over there? Well, they are um, in New York. Okay. They are on a boat. Okay. They are uh, approaching. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Don't be sad. <laughs> Thank you very much. So they okay. are on a boat in New York Harbor. Okay. Good. Great. Okay. Someone else. Number two. Uh, Catherine Vasquez, please. Oh. What are they looking at? They are looking at the Statue of Liberty. Good, excellent. They are looking at the Statue of Liberty. And that was and and that was a better answer than the one I have over there. Why? Because when we are learning English, we should use complete sentences. Okay. And I use just a part. Excellent, Catherine. Uh, very well done. Uh, well done. Not very well done. Well done. And the uh, third participants as voluntary, who designed it? Someone else? Raise your hand. Okay, Claudia Maria. Uh, sorry, mister, can you hear me? Yes. We yes, hear now you. can you hear me? Okay. Uh, it's only yeah. to approve. Okay, who designed it? Who designed the Statue of Liberty? It was designed by a French sculptor named Bartoli. Okay, yes, but uh, it was designed by a culture French named Bartoli. The French sculptor Bartoli. Good. Great response. Okay, number four. Another volunteer. Someone else. Uh huh. Uh, okay, Don Vicente, you already did one, but uh, we, we'll, we'll uh, give you the chance also here. Okay, good, okay. excellent. Uh, no, <laughs> okay, go ahead, Don, Don Vicente. Okay, there, uh, can they go inside? Yes. Yes, they, they can. can go. Yes, yes they, they can. can. Yes, they can. Okay, someone else, the one started. Brenda, do you fix your mic? Yes, uh, uh, can, can you hear me? Now we can hear. Uh, okay, now awesome. <laughs> how many steps? How many steps are there? Um, are are there? I'm sorry, the question is not there. Uh, are okay, there? I remember in the one hundred forty-two. One hundred. Yes, there are there are four. Uh, one hundred. Mm -hmm. Uh, 42 uh -huh. steps or stairs uh -huh. yeah, well okay. the steps uh -huh, because they are so um the stairs <laughs> yeah this one shouldn't say they it says she says there okay okay it is there sound okay good so this is this is the the this, the, the one that we're now listen uh -huh. now listen and read part a Listen and practice. 
We are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty, which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Wow, look at it. Incredible, isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartholdi. It's really huge. Do we get to go inside? Of course. We can climb the stairs all the way up to the crown. Stairs? There's no elevator? Not to the top, but it's just 142 steps. Okay, so that's the conversation. Okay, let's uh, do, we, we still have like, like 10 minutes. Okay, so I will send you the conversation. Well, uh, the audio also, and for you to practice and, um, and uh, listen to the conversation, then you can listen uh, uh, line by line and you make a pause and then you repeat it, okay? So that's that will help you a lot. Okay, we have the second part of this one and the questions are, listen to what else the guy says. Number one, what is the statue, the statue of Liberty made of? Oh, oh by the way, and this kind of conversation, I will send you from tomorrow on, like I said, from a couple of minutes to, to work in pairs or in small groups. Okay, just take notes in your notebook and try to answer the question. What is the Statue of Liberty made of? This one is not of, okay? This one is sounds of. Uh, of uh, look at uh, me. of uh, let me see uh, of, like this the you say off turn the lights off off that that is yeah, that right. is but this one is uh, what is the statue of oh. liberty made of okay and how many people visit the statue every day every year every day every well, year <laughs> every year well, let me tell you that this information is not that new, eh? So there will be more people. But according to the Mr. conversation, yes? In AB, is only for question or in other case? This one? Made up. Ah, yes? no. Yes. No, AB, you, it can be in questions or a sentence. Uh -huh. I am an... Uh, what, what, what it can it, phrase of uh, verbs. Uh huh. It, it, it you can use it uh, and then, and, and, but every time that you see O F one F is of of okay. Is if you see O F F that would be off off okay. Okay, let's listen okay. and we will finish with this one because I need to attend to take your attendance. Take notes and try to answer the questions. I, I will play the audio twice. 66, exercise two, part B. Listen to what else the guide says. What is the Statue of Liberty made of? Uh, made How of. How many people oh. visit the statue every year? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you a little more about the statue before you climb to the top. In case you're wondering what the statue is made of, it has a framework inside that's made of iron. The outer skin is made of copper. The copper skin is only 2.4 millimeters thick. The supporting framework inside the statue is what holds the whole thing together. The Statue of Liberty is a major tourist attraction, and every year about 2 million people from all over the world come here to visit it. Okay, one more time. Say notes. 66, exercise two, <clears throat> part B. Listen to what else the guide says. What is the Statue of Liberty made of? How many people visit the statue every year? Let me tell you a little more about the statue before you climb to the top. In case you're wondering what the statue is made of, it has a framework inside that's made of iron. The outer skin is made of copper. The copper skin is only 2.4 millimeters thick. The supporting framework inside the statue is what holds the whole thing together. The Statue of Liberty is a major tourist attraction, 
and every year about two million people from all over the world come here to visit it. Okay. Could you please write your answers and uh, using the notes that you took uh, from question number one on the chat, please? Okay. 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 I need to see at least six or seven answers on the chat. Remember that when you answer this type, uh, kind of question, just send a message to me. And don't worry, I will read it without saying your names. And then I will ask for a, a voluntary participation, the ones that haven't participated yet. Okay, I got one. You're asking. Okay. Okay. Like three or four more uh more answers over there and I will read them. What is the statue made of? Okay, that's what I want. Okay. Sorry, mister, I have a problem with my Zoom. Ah, uh, you had to leave? Uh, miss, you had to leave the, the class? What, sorry? You had to leave the class? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, no, no, no. I I don't I didn't to to write to read the Ah okay my oh, okay ya no, no es el micrófono sino que es el texto <laughs> Okay no problem no problem Okay so I'm receiving so thank you very much Miss uh, the Statue of Liberty is made of iron and copper um ah I forgot to ask for a, part, a verbal participation well but it's not time iron and skin and layer and uh, 31 tons of copper and uh, 100, yeah, okay. Good, it visited by a million people. Ah, okay, all over the world. Good, excellent. The Statue of Liberty was made in iron and, and copper with, ah, uh, ah, uh, cover, cover with copper, yes. Okay, yes, okay. So these are the answers that we that I got over there. And it says the Statue of Liberty has a framework inside that's made of iron. Made of iron. The outer skin, the skin from outside, of course, is made of copper only uh, 2.4 millimeters thick, like this one. And then we have about 2 million people visit it every year. Okay, well done, excellent. Good English, great participation, but it can be better, okay? So just let me uh, take your uh, attendance, okay? And I'll let you go. There is about... Uh, it's almost time, don't worry. Uh, let me go with in I think that was intermediate one second please no 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 Um, 
I got it. Okay, Ana Sofía, uh, Ana Sonia Elizabeth Martínez. Ana Sonia. Andrea Esther Acosta. I'm here, teacher. Brenda, Cla Brenda Claribel Mejía. Segovia. Present, mister. Okay. Cecilio Antonio Cortés. Cecilio Antonio Cortés. Present, present, mister. Okay. Uh, Claudia Maria Gomez Canizales. Present, teacher. Eh, Edgardo Mauricio Barrera Ortega. Edgardo. Edgar. Edgar, I'm sorry. Edgar Mauricio Barrera. Eugenio Ernesto Martínez Fuentes. Present, Mr. López. Ok, Giovanni José González Olmedo. Present, Mr. Eh, Jennifer Nauset Arevalo Flores. Present, teacher. Okay, did I pronounce it correct? Noun set? No set. No set. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Juan Antonio Brown. Present, teacher. Catherine yes. Mariel Vasquez Present. Flores. Present. Eh, Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Present, teacher. Eh, Lorena Araceli Hernández de García. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Lorena de Los Ángeles Mengíbar. Eh, Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present, Mr. Mengíbar. Ok, good. María José Najarro Mengíbar. Present, teacher. No es Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Norma Lisbeth Crespín Orellana. Norma. In the chat. Norma say present in the chat. Ah okay. ah, okay. Thank you very much. Oscar Alexander Domínguez. I'm here, teacher. Saraí Noemí Trejo Suyoa. Here, teacher. Eh, Vicente Israel eh, Sánchez Erazo. Present teacher. And Wendy Lisbeth Carías de Cedillos. Present teacher. Good. Uh, let me tell you that I'm very excited to work with you guys. I'm very happy about it. And thank you very much. And I'll see you tomorrow at this at eight o'clock on the same channel. Sleep okay. well. Thank you. Bye bye. I bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for your advice. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. Have a good night.